Most celebrities keep their lives very private from the public, with some abstaining entirely from social media and any interviews, so it's pretty difficult to find out their private lives, but not all of them. Here are 10 actors from House of Zwille and their real life families, all partners. If you enjoy our content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to leave a comment, we would love to hear from you. Number 1. Winning Taba Number one is Winning Saba who plays Faith Zwiri on House of Zwiri. She has played other roles and was most famous as KT on Generation 16 and says some people still call her that till this day, asking her fans to move on. Now aside from her professional life, Winnie is a very nice person in real life and is a mother to one son whom she had in her last marriage. She was married to Tabo Mudise and the relationship ended tragically. While there were sources claiming she was abused, Winnie put to rest all those claims saying she was never abused and that she wanted all that to stay in her past. Moreover, when talking about marriage, Winnie has been quoted by Times Life saying, next time will be forever. In her last marriage, her husband was talking about her in public with some claims that she had left the SABC1 cameraman for a richer politician and all that was nothing but pain to her that she had to speak up. However, as of date, she and Tabu still co-parent and Winnie has made it clear the two are back together after a post that she shared on Instagram left her fans confused. Number 2. Mutlati Mafati if there's a man out there whose love story will leave you gushing in admiration, it's Mutlati's story. Mutlati is married to Millicent Nkangani, who is a fashion designer and model. While you may think the two met in some fancy place, they didn't. They actually met in church. Apparently, the comedian Mafati was a choir member and Millicent was just a church girl. And back then, there were both nobodies who believed in one another till this day. But their love doesn't come without fights. However, they have ways to resolve those, which include active listening and making amends when possible. But that is even quoted saying, never stop treating her like you're still dating and never stop telling her she's beautiful. When he was asked how they deal with lows of the relationship, when everything feels like it's getting old and boring. This is such a beautiful love story and the couple has been married for over 8 years now. They will be celebrating their 10th year anniversary in 2024. Number 3. Vusi Kunene There is no record of a wife of Vusi Kunene. In fact, it is not just about having a wife, but it is also unconfirmed whether he is married or ever has been married before. However, considering his age, many fans believe that he should be married or divorced. But this rumor has not been confirmed. The only woman Vusi Kunene has been associated with is his baby mama, and his only known child is a daughter he had with his baby mama. This makes his desire for privacy really extreme, because other celebrities who keep their lives far away from from the media still falter in their guidedness and let a few things slip about their personal lives. It was reported some time that the actor was involved with a fellow actress. It was only when the actress involved mentioned it randomly in an interview that it was brought to the public knowledge. The thing about living a private life is that you can try to keep things private from your end, but you can't always determine what others will do. Vusi Kunene is truly good at what he does, which is obvious with his acting. In Generations The Legacy, Kunene played Jack Mabaso, powerful manipulative and deceptive man, married to Nandi, played by actress Brenda Mthongo. He played his role as Brenda Mthongo's husband in the soapy so well that his fans actually thought that the couple was married in real life. But Vusi Kunene and Brenda Mthongo are not married in real life. While Vusi's relationship status is not known, Brenda is married to Edmund Mthongo. She got married at the age of 16 and has been married for over two decades. Their relationship is blessed with children. Brenda admits that she had an amazing time acting with Vusi, claiming that he has been accommodating and supportive in improving her career as an actress. Number 4. Matsepo Maleme She has been on a TV screen since 2004. Until this day, she is still very well remembered for her numerous TV roles including recent ones like Riamula on House of Zwiri and Sheila on ETV Scandal. However, when it comes to her personal life, she doesn't subscribe to clicks. Maleme is a big fan of privacy and she loves her family. According to a source on Wikipedia, Maleme has a son and a daughter and she is married. While it is not well known whom she is married, she has spoken of her relationships in the past, saying that she has suffered from gender-based violence from her late teens. In fact, according to an interview Matsepo did with Power987, a radio show in South Africa, she opened up about being depressed from the age of 17 and she also said certain things in the industry still trigger her. Even though she's still working on those issues, she has tremendous love for her family and children and she spends most of her time and energy cherishing her family. Number 5. Jeffrey Sekele Okay, we're just gonna put it out there. We don't know who Jeffrey Sekele is married to. We however want to start by saying those who don't watch Isiraya have put the man in some controversies over the internet. 
Jeffrey shares a lot of pictures on his Instagram with clear captions and on two or three occasions he shared these pictures with his co-stars, one with Jessica Ngos in it, but other bloggers didn't read the caption which clearly stated that he was at an Isibar set and went on to claim that he was married to those women. But he's not. In fact, if you do a thorough research on the man, there's no information on his relationship status except that he is married or presumably has a family. There's no information on his wife or children. Number 6. Wanda Zuma There was a rumor that Wanda Zuma who plays in Kosi Zuida on House of Zuida was dating Ayanda Zimande from Scandal. And after some research, the final answer is, well, the answer isn't a yes, but it also isn't a no. The answer is we don't know, but possibly? However, we can tell you there's some method to this madness. Okay, let's break it down. Zimande and Wanda Zuma shared pictures on their individual Instagram accounts showing that they were at the same location on the same day. So while that wasn't conclusive, Ayanda later shared a video of herself with Wanda Zuma and the rumors couldn't be less convincing. But we must remember that there is no conclusion from the partners themselves that concludes upon their relationship. So we're still kinda in the dark. But if they do come out saying there is or was a relationship, don't be shocked. Number 7. Luazim Tembu Luazim Ubanzim Tembu, born 11 July 1991, popularly known as Luazim Tembu, is a South African actress, dancer and singer. She's best known for the roles in the television serials Tandeka's Diary, Broken Vows and House of Zuida as Namsa. And while she keeps her life very private, she has shared some pictures with her family. She has other sisters in her family, but that's how far as that goes. She had never shared any information on her relationships or if she has any children. It may seem that the actress is much more focused on her career at this point. Number 8. Silo Sebozani Sebozani is an award-winning South African actor with, oh well, some controversies. But before we get into that, let's remind you a bit on who he was in House of Zuri. The secret behind Ona's father's identity was on the verge of being revealed. Faith and Isaac desperately needed 1 million rands to bribe Jonas Muloy, played by Silo Sebozani, to keep the secret. Sebozani was playing a private investigator who worked with Faith many years ago. He was now under financial strain and had decided to blackmail Faith and Isaac with the information he had about Ona. He threatened to tell Funani which could turn the Zuiri household upside down. Now back to the family controversies. He was married to Shogi Sibozani until he assaulted her grievously in 2018. She's an actress and a fashion designer. She's also a campaigner of herbal products on social media. Silos Bozani and his wife lived together in Johannesburg until Silos' wife issued a protection order against him. The domestic violence incident got the attention of many South Africans. Shoki has received support from celebs and the nation at large across the country. Although the two were separated in 2018, there were no reports about the two reconciling. Shoki is no longer married to a former husband as she obtained a protection order against him. There is no information about him remarrying or seeing any other woman. Number 9. Nandi Nyembe According to Briefly SA, Nandi Nyembe's husband was known as Bob. However, they divorced as Bob wanted to marry a more youthful lady. The actress is a mother to one daughter. Moreover, according to a Wikipedia article, Nyembe is allegedly a psychic or sangoma. She had her sangoma initiation when she was only 17 years old. However, before knowing she was a sangoma, she suffered a serious illness as a result of being able to connect with the spirits of people who died on the road. In addition, she told Times Live magazine about the illness. I was sick and my mother had to take me to Chris Honey Baramwat Hospital. At some point, doctors had to test my urine and surprisingly, it came out with soil. But there was nothing wrong with me. Furthermore, the article also said that Nyembe's daughter was also a practicing psychic, though she ended up stopping. Number 10. Tembisam daughter Tembisa played Nikiwe on her and has been known to be a very private person of some sort. Tembisa has been throwing around bits of information about the man in her life. For example, she added the surname Ngumalo to her surname on social media. So, although we don't know his first name, we know that Tembisa daughter's husband is called Mr. Ngumalo. In a recent Instagram post, Tembisa shared a throwback photo of herself with her husband. Although she was careful not to share the face of her mysterious man, she revealed that she and her hubby had met on set. So we know that he is in the media industry. According to sources, Tembisa and her first husband, Atandwakani, met in 2004 at Vets University where the two were students. They had an on and off relationship for years and after being apart for some time and dating other people, Faith brought the two back together in 2011 and shortly after, Tembisa discovered that she was pregnant. On the 11th of August 2012, Tembisa's daughter and Atandwakani got married in a beautiful wedding ceremony. And a few months later, Tembisa's daughter gave birth to beautiful twin boys. Tembisa's daughter's first marriage was very rocky from the beginning. From the start, 
the husband questioned the paternity of the children, even though he supported them as his own. In 2014, things started getting ugly between the couple as some publications reported that Ghani had allegedly accused Mudoda of infidelity. The infidelity accusations and the paternity questions would continue haunting the marriage and in 2015, the couple decided to end things. Her husband was actually John Ghani's son. In the very same year, Temisa Mudoda's ex-husband got married to actress Fikile Mtalo. The two had met on set at a TV show. That's all for today. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment down below.